what is going on everybody i am about to show y'all how to make these hunting arrows for these little 80 pound bows out of these these are full size crossbow bolts they're really easy to make you don't need a whole lot of tools but there are a couple key points that you need to remember other than that there ain't nothing to it the first one being you're going to need actual feather fletchings and let me show you why most of these pistol crossbows have a front sight like so and even if they don't they have these little caulking arms well if you're using plastic veins instead of feather veins those plastic veins are going to catch on these and it's going to throw your arrow for a loop but if you're using feather veins when you shoot this as they go through they'll fold down and it won't cause you any problem at all i'll tell you what the second thing is here in just a minute first let me show you what tools you're going to need to get this done this is a copper tubing pipe cutter it's cobalt i think i got it at walmart i can't remember but before my mind runs down a rabbit hole they're not hard to find you can get them at big box hardware stores just about anywhere uh, you're going to need a tape measure some super glue then you're going to need some uh, inserts for arrows and of course a couple extra knocks now the first thing you have to do is know how long you want your arrow if you're going to shoot broadheads out of them you need your arrow to protrude past the front of your bow if your arrow doesn't protrude past the front of your bow unless you're shooting a two blade it's going to get in the way so your arrow needs to protrude past the front of your bow just a little bit so what you're going to have to do is take a tape measure and measure from that string slot to the front of your bow and this one is nine and a quarter inches so what i'm going to do is cut my arrows down to nine and three quarter inches and then with a quarter inch knock it'll be 10 inch arrow so i'm going to measure my arrow down here and make a mark at nine and three quarter inches now if you're wondering wouldn't an arrow cutter work better the answer is yeah of course it would if you got one but if you don't got one this right here will work just fine so the only thing you got to remember when you're cutting an arrow with a pipe cutter is don't squeeze it too tight just do a little bit at a time if you squeeze it too tight you'll crush your arrow but if you spin and twist just a little bit at a time and it don't take too long if you go slow before it breaks loose clean as a whistle then all you gotta do is put your knock in the back and you are in business. So now we got an arrow that is unfletched. Yeah. Now remember, actual feather fletchings and we're gonna fletch this by hand. And if you're wondering if a fletching tool would work better, the answer is yeah, probably if you got one. It's my standard answer for everything these days. But you're shooting a pistol crossbow so your max distance is probably gonna be 10 or 12 yards and let me tell you, you can hand fletch an arrow and it'll shoot just fine at 10 or 12 yards. Probably shoot just fine for further. All the arrows that I... <laughs> Macy got a bug on her. All the arrows that I made last year, I hand fletch. Now, this glue sticks fast. Just run a little bead. It don't take much. It'll stick. Down the fletching. Okay, oh, now you're just gonna stick the back on first. Hold that down for a couple seconds and let it catch. And peel your thumb off of it. Straighten this out. Hold it down. Kind of eyeball it straight. Push the middle down. And a rocket science. Don't get your fingers stuck. There we go. Now we just need to repeat the process on the other side. I promise you, when that glue dries here in about five minutes, <laughs> that fletching ain't coming off short of having a knife. Now we're just going to bead down this, this fletching here and do the same on the other side. There we go. Oop. Alrighty. Now, just line it up and put it on the opposite side. Like I said, it ain't a rocket science. 
hold the back for a minute and let it stick and then you can fix the front try not to glue your fingers to the arrow it don't take long for it to stick so. all right now I'm just gonna hold this for a few seconds and then we're gonna let it dry and I'll show you how it works they are on there and they are ready to go we're gonna give it a few minutes to dry and if you think those fletchings look too long those are four inch fletchings they are not too long longer fletchings stabilize these broadheads that's why these don't work most of the time is because those fletchings are so small they just don't stabilize the arrow so the more fletching you got the better your arrow is gonna fly like these are three inch fletchings and they do fine I ordered four inch fletchings because I'm gonna make uh, some arrows for my striker bows for deer hunting this year and I wanted a longer fletching for uh, added stability for that so I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll shoot it now with the back all you got to do and I don't have a knife with me is just take a knife and cut these off and then take a little what is it acetone fingernail polish remover and it'll just clean that glue right off and then you can make a second arrow out of the back side of, of your uh, bolt so you get two two uh, mini crossbow bolts for every one full-size hunting arrow you got you'll just take one of these inserts and glue it in glue it in and then cut it off to length glue you some fletchings on and you are good to go Let's let this other arrow dry. Well, it's almost dry. It's been about five minutes. I should probably give it a little longer, but it is hot. So I'm gonna see how it shoots and then we're gonna get out of here. These are some squirrel killing arrows, let me tell you. This is one I already made. We're gonna shoot it first. Give that other arrow another 30 seconds to dry. I bet you can kill a hog with these. I made them initially to hog hunt with, but I hadn't got around to it yet. They fly good. The target's at about 10 yards. All right, let's try this one that I just made. I'm gonna shoot it at the top dot. I'm not gonna shoot them at the same dot because I don't want to cut off the fletchings I just put on there. Man, that works well. There ain't much to making them either. So if you're tired of shooting these things because they don't work, Make you some out of some crossbow bolts. Macy got the giggling behind the camera and I lost it. But that is all I got. Like I said, it's not rocket science. You can make your own arrows. They fit real good in these 80 pound pistol crossbows. Now, if you're gonna make them for the striker crossbows, there's some other things that come into play. If this video does good, we'll do another one on the striker bolts. I gotta make some more of them before deer season anyway. So I'm gonna get out of here. It is too hot to be playing this game. Come on, cooler days. That is all I have. I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you next time.